36th District Court is now in session with the Honorable Mar Marlena E. Tater presiding. By court's in session, there's no walking around, talking, eating, eating, sleeping, smoking, or driving. When your name is called, please give your full and undivided attention to the court. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, and thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your patience this morning. Uh, who was your person, actually? Um, Miss Lakeisha Driver. All right. Lakeisha Driver. Now calling the matter of the people versus Lakeisha Driver. This is ticket number Z8080861. This is one count of operating while visibly impaired. Today is the day of time set for a, either a review or a probation violation. Appearances for the record starting with the probation officer who's in court today. Good morning, Your Honor. Shantia Tucker on behalf of probation. Morning, Your Honor. Bob, Bob Zoranek for Ms. Driver. All right. How are we proceeding today, Ms. Uh, uh, Officer Tucker? Uh, well, the defendant, she was placed on a 12-month probation term with us uh, back in July 21st, 2022. Um, today, we were here for a probation violation uh, due to the fact the defendant has not produced a uh, um, a negative test for us. Um, she has had um, several positive tests or just missed tests with my professional recovery program, which I do have the report on. Um, so today we were um, recommending that she went to the 36th District's uh, drug court program. And uh, also we have um, case manager, Mr. Yancey. Um, is online. Is online, yes. Ms. Uh, I, I neglected to have you put your name on the record, Ms. Driver. Could you put your name on the record for me, please? Laquisha Shante Driver. All right, thank you so much. And we do have Mr. Yancey from Drug today. Can you put your name on the record, sir? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Kenneth Yancey on behalf of Specialty Court. All right. Um, Mr. Uh, Attorney Zoranik, did you have a chance to talk to your client about this? Judge, we were just waiting for a probation to check in and see where she stood with, uh, uh, you know, her status on her probation. But if they're satisfied that she's doing okay, uh, we're happy with either closing it out or have her finish it up. They are not satisfied. She has she has tested positive on every single one of her screens or missed screens. So their recommendation is drug court. Did she talk to the drug court person yet? No. All right. I'm going to put you two in a room right now because I'm I'm leaning towards doing that. So I'm going to open up a breakout room um, for Mr. Yancey as well as uh, Your Honor. The breakout rooms are closed, and once you reopen them, everyone's going to go back to the room. I, um, I know. I'm uh I'm I'm taking them all out there. I'm, I'm recreating them without that. I got you. Okay. Don't worry. I got you. Um, uh, and also, Your Honor, not to interrupt, but I do have a report from the Health Professional Recovery Program. Okay. Her testing, if you would like to see that. All right. I do want to see her testing. I'm going to put her into a room, though, however. Don't go in. The, don't join. I know it's asking you to join. Don't join. Except for Miss Driver. Officer Yancey, I'm going to put you don't. You can just hand me a copy of it in the room with her. She's in room number seven. And don't worry, the folks who went back to the room, we'll just get them in a moment. So I'll do the folks who are out here already. You we'll pass know. over this matter. The, the first sheet, that's just the summary. Oh, she 
Renee Joseph? Yes. All right. Ma'am, next time for court, you might want to think about your attire. Just so you know, this is a live courtroom on YouTube. Now calling the matter of the people versus Kathleen Renee Joseph. This is ticket number P1306726. Count one, no proof of insurance. Count two, fail to use seatbelt assembly system effectively. Count three, defective or missing a pin. Also call the ticket number P1306724. Count one, improper plate. Count two, fail to display a valid operator's license. Not a person. Count two, register the title. Now he asked you not to start moving during these hearings and doing all this. And as soon as I start calling your case, you get up and start moving. My daughter started talking, so I moved away from her. Bob Zorana for Miss Renee Joseph. State your name, ma'am. Tasleem Renee Joseph. Judge, this matter's up for trial today. Officer Raleigh did appear. Uh, he did agree to dismiss these matters, and so we're moving for a dismissal. With that being said, I do have the dismissal um, on the file, so the court is going to dismiss these matters without prejudice. You're all set, ma'am. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Edgar Riviera. Did he go back into a breakout room, even though he shouldn't have? Jessica Richmond. Mr. Riviera. Yes. You went back into the breakout room. No. Oh. Now calling the matter of the people versus Edgar Riviera. This is ticket 7440281 count. No insurance misdemeanor. Appearances for the record starting with counsel, please. Bob Zarina for Mr. Rivera. Please state your name, sir. Edgar Rivera. Judge, this matter is up for trial today. The officer did appear. Uh, we're moving for a dismissal based on valid documents. All right. Having that said, now that you have valid documents, the court is going to grant the request and dismiss this without prejudice. Sir, make sure you always keep everything up to date and valid in your vehicle at all times, okay? Okay. All right. Have a great day. You too. I will. Thank All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Jessica Richmond. She on the screen. Maria Rivers. Reeves. I'm sorry. Maria Reeves. Unmute yourself for me. Hello. Hello. You call in the matter of the people versus Maria Reeves. This is ticket P1356810, count one, 11 to 15 miles over posted speed, count two, no insurance misdemeanor. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Bob Zorana for Ms. Reeves, Your Honor. And your name for the record, ma'am, please. Marie Reeves. All right. How are we proceeding? Judge, uh, and Pauline talked to her, I think. Okay. Attorney Yeah, I'm here, Judge. I'm trying to just see where she is on my list, Miss Reeves. Okay. I don't She's think not... I spoke to Miss Reeves. Okay. Um, I don't know. Did you? Who'd you speak with, Miss Reeves? Myself or the other attorney? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I think I spoke to you. Oh, I'm so okay. It's a. It was under a trial, Pauline. Nine o'clock. Marie Reeves supposed to be dismissed. I think it was a dismissal, no officer. Oh, Your Honor, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a trial date. Miss Reeves has her insurance dated 4623, and also the officer did not appear. I'm moving for dismissal. 
I'm sorry, I couldn't find that sheet. All right. So at this time, the court is going to grant the request. I do see she has valid docs. So she does. This, this matter without prejudice. Slow down, ma'am, because we don't have a speaking ticket today because the officer didn't show up. But you need okay. to slow down here. Yes. yes. All right. If there's nothing further, you're all set. Especially okay. since she wasn't in my power zone. Don't speed in those areas. That means kids okay. are in there. Okay. Yes. All right. Have a good day, man. You too. Right. <laughs> Christopher, dear, scaleless. Yes. Oh. Now calling the matter of the people versus Christopher, dear, scaleless. This is ticket seven four three nine three three. One count disobey lawful order of peace officer. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Your Honor, Pauline Stroke, on behalf of Mr. Deer Scaleless. Can you state your name for the record, please? Uh, Christopher Dyer Scalisi. Thank you. Your Honor, um, this matter is set for trial today. I do not believe the officer checked in. I'd move for dismissal. The time is now 1053 a.m. No officer having checked in. The court is going to grant that request. We want to dismiss it without prejudice. Sir, they can refile this if they want to, but you're all set for today, okay? Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. All right. Tracy Davis? Yes, Your Honor. Now calling the matter of the people versus Tracy Davis. This is ticket P1270543. Count one, allowing an unlicensed driver to drive. Count two, no insurance misdemeanor. How, how are we proceeding today? Count, uh, appearances for the record, please. Bob Zoranek for Ms. Davis. State your name, ma'am. Tracy Davis. Judge, there's an offer. Uh, today's the day and time set for trial. Officer is present. There is an offer on the 5431 ticket to a three-month delayed sentence. The other matter would be dismissed. She wants to avail herself of that offer. Is that right, Ms. Davis? Yes, ma'am. If so, please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. You can put your hand down. Ms. Davis, you have to talk to an attorney about your case and about your rights? Yes. Did anyone threaten you, force you, or promise you anything in exchange for a plea today? No. Are you pleading guilty of your own choice? Yes. Are you pleading guilty because you are guilty? Yes. So do you understand that by taking this guilty plea, you're going to give up any rights that you may have had to have a trial in the future? Yes. Understanding all of this, did you still want to move forward today, Ms. Davis? Yes, I do. I want to take your attention back to the date of October the 28th, 2021. At that time, did you own a Chevy vehicle, ma'am? Yes, I did. And did you allow someone who was unlicensed to drive that vehicle? Yes. All right. And counsel, when you stipulated it was in the area of Van Dyke and Emily in the city of Detroit that that car was driven? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you so much. So at, are you satisfied, counsel? Satisfied, Your Honor. The court is satisfied as well. Stipulation for probable cause on the remaining count to be dismissed? Yes, please. So at this time, the court's going to enter a plea to uh, count one, allowing an unlicensed driver to drive, dismiss the remaining count two of this ticket. Ma'am, this is under what's called a three-month delayed sentence. As long as you pick up no new tickets within this three-month time, it's going to be dismissed and you pay my fine. A fine is $200, ma'am, okay? Yes. Let me bring them back. Okay, so um, this February. February. One, two, three. Three months? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Actually, yep, 16th. February 16th, 2023 is your review. You need to have that paid and no new tickets like this, and this will be dismissed, okay? Have it paid before then? You can't pay it before then. Yeah, you need to have it paid before then. By the time you come back to court, you need to have $200 paid by February 15th. Okay? Okay. Uh huh. All right. If there's nothing further, you're all set. Thank you, Ms. Davis. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. They mind that, me? Hello. I'm sorry. It's dying, isn't it? <laughs> yes. 
Now calling the matter of People versus Diamond Daphne. This is ticket P1128722. Count one, no insurance misdemeanor. Count two, open alcohol in a motor vehicle driver. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Bob Zoranek for Ms. Daphne. State your name, ma'am, please. Diamond Daphne. Judge Shays, the day and time set for trial. My understanding the officer did not appear. We're moving for dismissal. Time is now 10.57 a.m. No officer having appeared. The court is going to grant your request. Dismiss this without prejudice. Ma'am, not a good idea to do what you did in this ticket, even though it got dismissed today. This is your warning, so don't do it again, okay? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. I will, thank you. Bye. Bye. That's so rich. Shamika Robinson. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Now calling the matter of the people versus Shamika Robinson. This is ticket SP 12775061. One count, no insurance misdemeanor. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Bob Zoranek for Ms. Robinson. Please state your name, ma'am. Shamika Robinson. Judge, we'd like today's arraignment on the bench warrant. We're asking that the warrant be set aside. We're asking for a bench trial date, please. At this time, the court's going to enter a plea of not guilty on behalf of the client. I'll set aside the bench warrant that is out there currently for the bond in of zero dollars personally. One of the bench trial dates. Judge, can I ask uh, Lewis about, see, does she have an outstanding speeding ticket also picked up at the same time? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was, there, was there a speed ticket attached to this? That wasn't yeah. default? Yes. Right. No. She may have paid it or it may be in default. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I'm sorry. Your Honor, I believe I wrote a letter um, to try to get a hearing for it, but it is. Um, on that date that I I received this ticket, there was a, a five over and a no ins insurance on person. And she departed July 11. All right, it departed on July 11. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 This time, of course, going to do that. I'm going to take this ticket out of the park. I'm going to put it with this ticket for the bench trial. The bench trial date is, thank you. The bench trial date is going to be December 14th. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. 8.30 a.m. I'm going to set your bond at $0 person on both of these matters. We'll see you then, okay? Okay. So the money, so the, I had already paid something. I think it was a bond. That'll still, that'll be in place when you come back. Yep. Okay. Bond. Okay. So you can probably get the ticket um, on it. You have to pay a bond. So the bond is just out okay. there. Okay. Okay. Understood. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Judge. Yep. All right. You're welcome. I'm not driving. I'm not a chauffeur. I'm not I think driving. he's a passenger, Judge. 
I know, but it starts moving, so it's making all this. It's, yeah, I, I no. <laughs> Latrilla, Latrilla Daniel. I'm messing up your name. I'm so sorry. How you pronounce your name? Latoria Daniel. Latoria Daniel. Now calling the matter of the people versus Latoria Daniel. This is case number SP121870. Count one, drive unregistered, untitled vehicle. Count two, no insurance misdemeanor. Count three, improper place. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Uh, I'm not sure. Pauline, was this yours? I, I don't think it was, but um, Colleen Stroke, on behalf of the defendant, Your Honor. Right. Oh, I got it. My fault. That's mine. Okay. We'd, we'd like to set up for a bench trial, Judge. What's, and may I have your name for the record, ma'am? Latoria Daniel. I didn't even swear the last person is. All right, you want to have these matters for a bench trial? Yes, please. All right. Ms. Daniel, can you raise your right hand? Do you, do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. You can put your hand down. Ma'am, did you have a chance to talk to your attorney about your case and about your rights? Yes. It's my understanding that you want to have a bench trial in this matter. That's a trial before a judge. Is that correct? Correct. All right. I'm going to set these matters for a bench trial on the date of December 14th, 2022. That's going to be at 8.30 a.m. If you don't already have a bond, it'll be set at $0 person, okay? Okay. All right. If there's nothing further, you're all set, okay? Okay. You have a great day. I will. Thank you. You too, okay? Jessica DeCosta? Yes, ma'am. Now calling the matters of the people versus Jessica DeCosta. This is ticket number SP1129776. Count one, a drive unregistered untitled vehicle. Count two, no insurance misdemeanor. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Bob Zeranek for the defendant. Please state your name, ma'am. Jessica DeCost. Judge, there is an offer. Uh, we'd ask that the warrant be set aside. There is an offer on the 761 to improper plate, dismiss 762. She wants to take that offer. Well, the court's going to enter a plea of not guilty on your client's behalf and set aside any bench warrants that may be out there. Ma'am, you want to take advantage of that offer? I do. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. You can put your hand down. Did you have a chance to talk to the attorney about your case and about your rights? I did. Did anyone threaten you, force you, or promise you anything in exchange for this plea today? No. Are you pleading guilty of your own free will? Yes. Are you pleading guilty because you are guilty? Yes. Do you understand that by taking this guilty plea that you're going to give up the right that you had to have a bench or a jury trial? Yes. Understanding all of that, did you still want to move forward today? I do. All right, ma'am. I'm going to take your attention back to the date of October the 29th of 2020. Were you in the area of Dexter and Clements Street in the city of Detroit driving a Jeep vehicle? I was. And while you were driving that vehicle, was it unregistered or untitled at that time? It was. Satisfied, counsel? Satisfied, Satisfied. Your Honor. We'll stipulate the probable cause. So at this time, the court is going to enter a plea to the amended charge of improper plate. I'm going to dismiss the remaining count. Ma'am, my fine is $200. How long will that take you to pay? 30 or 60 days? Uh, two days. All right. So I'm going to give you 30 days just in case. It's going to be due no later than December 15, 2022. Okay? Thank you. I can pay that online? You can pay it online at 36districtcourt.org. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Thank you so you much. Too. Demetria Dowdell. Ready, Your Honor. Yes. 
it Demetrius? I only have Demetrius there on my file. I see Demetrius up there. Yes, yeah. this. That. Okay. All right. Now calling the matter of people versus Demetrius. The Aldale, this is ticket SP1333-1621. This is one count drive unregistered or untitled vehicle. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Bob Zeranek for the defendant. Please state your name, sir. Dimitri Dowdell. Okay. Uh, this is a Raymond on the bench warrant. We're asking that the warrant be set aside and we're asking for a bench trial date, please. All right. At this time, the court is going to set aside the warrant that has been put out there. We're going to enter a plea of not guilty for your client's behalf. Sir, can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. You can put your hand down. Sir, did you have a chance to talk to an attorney about your case and about your rights? Yes. And it's my understanding you want to have a bench trial. That's a trial before a judge. Is that correct, sir? Yes. I'm going to set it for the date of December 14th, 2022. I'm going to set, did you enter a bond? Did you have to pay anything, sir? Uh, no. All right. I'm going to set your bond at $0 personal. It's going to be at 8.30 a.m., okay? Okay. All right. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. Ronald Riley, is he in here? Right. Chardonnay Reed? Yes. All right. Now calling the matters of the people versus Chardonnay Reed. This is ticket number SP8801841. One count failed to display a valid operator's license not on person. Ticket number SP1163609. Failed to display a valid operator's license, not on person. And ticket number SP1294421. Drove by license suspended. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Your Honor, Pauline Thrill can be here for Ms. Reed. <coughs> name for the record, please. Sade Reed. Your Honor, at this time, the people have made a recommendation to my client. She would plead to one amended count and fail to display the other two matters are being dismissed. She's waiving her rights. Is that right, ma'am? Yes. And so please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Put your hand down. Did you have a chance to talk to an attorney about your case and about your rights? Um, before now, yes. I mean, well, in the in the chat, yes, yes. Okay. Did anyone threaten you, force you, or promise you anything in exchange for a plea today? No. Pleaded guilty of your own choice. Yes. Pleaded guilty because you are guilty. Yes. Do you understand that by taking this guilty plea, you're going to give up any rights that you may have had to have a trial in the future? Yes. Understanding all of this, did you still want to move forward today? Yes. All right, ma'am, I'm going to take your attention back to the date of February the 9th of 2021. Were you in the area of East Davidson and East McNichols in the city of Detroit driving a Chevy vehicle? Yes. And why did you drive that vehicle? Uh, did you fail to display a valid operator's license? Yes. Satisfied, counsel? Satisfied, Your Honor. Stipulation for probable cause on the remaining count to be dismissed? So stipulated. So at this time, the court's going to enter a plea to fail to display. It looks like amended plea. Fail to display a valid operator's license. The remaining two counts will be dismissed. Called on the record. Ma'am, I'm going to charge you $200 today. How long will that take you to pay? 30 or 60 days? Um, I can pay that today. All right. I'm going to have it due no later than December 15, 2022, okay? Okay, and I can pay that online? Yeah, wait till tomorrow morning. That's okay. Why I was till tomorrow morning, okay. They got to put it in the computer. Okay. Hold on, twenty one. All right. Okay. All set. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Darnell. Yes. Uh, can you let Mr. Probation Officer Yancy in any waiting room? He's there. Okay. They just sent me a note saying that he was in the waiting room. Okay. 
Yeah, no, it's too much. Malik Davis. <laughs> Malik Davis. I know he's connected. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. You okay, Mr. Davis? What's going on? He wasn't feeling good today, Judge. I'm okay. sick. Mr. Davis, I'm going to put you in the waiting room. We're going to give you another date, okay? You don't have to be on here sick like this, okay? It's, it's okay. I got to go to the hospital. Could I please get it over with today? Because, please, I, I, can, I can stand. I can stand, please. Okay, now call it the matter of the people versus Malik Davis. This is ticket P one, two, three, four, yeah. seven, one, count one, no insurance, misdemeanor, count two, drove while license suspended. Okay. Appearance for the record starting with counsel, please. Bob Zeranic for Mr. Davis. Please state your name, Mr. Davis. Malik Davis. Judge, the offer is to plead to a failure to display on 312 and dismiss 311. He wants to take that offer. All right, is that right, Mr. Davis? Yes, ma'am. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, ma'am. You can put your hand down. Mr. Davis, did you have a chance to talk to an attorney in private about your case and about your rights? Yes. Did anyone threaten you, force you, or promise you anything in exchange for a plea today? No. Are you pleading guilty of your own free will? Yes. Are you pleading guilty because you are guilty? Yes. And do you understand that by taking this guilty plea that you're going to give up your rights that you had to have a bench or a jury trial? You understand that? Yes, ma'am. Understanding all of that, did you still want to move forward today? Yes. All right. I want to take your attention back to the date of August the 8th of 2021, where you're in the area of Illinois and Clifton Street in the city of Detroit driving a Dodge vehicle. Yes. While you're driving, was your license suspended at the time? Yes, ma'am. All right, satisfied, counsel? Satisfied, Your Honor. We stipulate the probable cause on the dismissal. All right, so at this time, the court's going to enter a plea to the amended charge uh, failed to display. I'm going to dismiss counsel in this particular matter, sir. Waiting your costs and fines. Get to the hospital. Thank you for coming on today. You're all set. Thank you, Your Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. All right. Dwayne Ruff. I see you in a spot where you're still now. Yes, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm sitting down. Okay, all right, sir. Now calling the matter of the people versus the rain rough. This is ticket yes. number SP 1 count no insurance misdemeanor. Appearances for the record starting with counsel, please. Bob Zeranic for Mr. Ruff. Please state your name, sir. Dwayne Ruff. Judge, um, this is a dismissal based on valid documents. We stipulate the probable cause. All right, at this time, the court is going to dismiss this matter without prejudice because he has valid dot. So make sure you always keep everything up to date and valid in your vehicle, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you, Mr. Webb. You too. All right. David Kappas? Iris Davis Kappas? Right here. Okay. Now calling the matter of the people versus Iris David Kappas. This is ticket number P1234429. One count allowing to ride outside a vehicle. Count two, no insurance misdemeanor. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Your Honor, I'm Pauline Sorokin on behalf of Ms. Davis Campus. All right. Ma'am, can you state your name for the record? Iris David Campus. Your Honor, she does have valid insurance. It's dated 12-12-2022 um, um, or 12-1, I'm sorry. But regarding, I didn't know that other ticket was up because we didn't have it on our docket. Okay. All right, you need to talk to her then because that offer is that is for her to plead to the civil infraction dismissed count two. The first ticket was paid. Oh, it's paid. paid the civil infraction. She indicates she paid it, Your Honor. So I would think um, we're all set then if you dismiss the insurance. She insurance. paid count one in the court would dismiss count two without prejudice. Let me see. All right. So the court sees that you paid count one. The court is going to dismiss count two without prejudice for you having paid count one, ma'am. You're all set, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too.
Leslie Dandridge. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Now calling the matter of the people versus Leslie Dandridge. This is ticket P12. 32730, count one, drive unregistered or untitled vehicle, count two, no insurance misdemeanor. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Your Honor, Pauline Stroke, on behalf of Leslie Dandridge. Mr. Dandridge. State your name for the record. Leslie Dandridge. Your Honor, Mr. Dandridge did present a registration dated uh, 229 2024 and an insurance policy dated 12 1 2022. I'm moving for dismissal of both those matters. Being an officer of the court, having seen those documentations, the court's going to grant your request and dismiss these matters without prejudice. Sir, make sure you always keep your valid documents in your vehicle up to date. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Jeffrey. Ragsdale? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now calling the matter of the people versus Jeffrey Ragsdale. This is ticket 519079. One count, no operator's license on person. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Bob Zoranek for Mr. Ragsdale, Your Honor. Sorry about that. That's okay. Sir, can you state your name for the record, please? Jeffrey Ragsdale. Judge, this is up for arraignment on bench warrant. We're asking that the warrant be set aside. There is an offer of failure to display where he wants to take that offer. At this time, the court's going to enter a plea of not guilty, set aside the bench warrant. Mr. Ragsdale, can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Ma'am. You can put your hand down. Did you have a chance to talk to an attorney about your case and about your rights? Yes. Did anyone threaten you, force you, or promise you anything in exchange for a plea to that? No. Are you pleading guilty of your own choice? Yes, ma'am. Are you pleading guilty because you are guilty? Yes. Oh, do you understand that by taking this guilty plea, you're going to give up the right that you had to have a bench or a jury trial? You understand that? Yes, ma'am, I do. All right, understanding all of this, did you want to move forward today? Yes. All right, I want to take your attention back to the date of March 16th of 2019. Were you in the area of Millen and Dix Street in the city of Detroit driving a Ford car? Yes. And while you were driving that vehicle, did you not have your operator's license on you at the time? No, I did not. Satisfied, counsel? Satisfied, Your Honor. Court is satisfied as well and will enter a plea to the amended charge of fail to display in this matter. Sir, my fine is $200. How long would that take you to pay? 30 or 60 days? Uh, 60 days. All right. So I'll give you until January 15, 2022 to have that paid, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. You have a good day, sir. Thank you. It's been a long time before I was vacation. Uh, uh, until, until, until I call you, please put yourself on mute. You got to turn up your television, Zoom user. Zoom caller. Yes. You have to remain quiet. We are in session for right now. Okay, thank you. Carlos Ross. <laughs> He's not paying attention. He's looking at the TV. Right here. Uh, Attorney Perlman? Yes, we're ready. I can see you on here. I'm so sorry. Let me call Ronald, you. Ronald Riley? Yes, I'm here. All right. Now call in the matter of the people versus Ronald Riley. This is V ticket 12081220. This is one count dog bite. Appearance for the record, starting with counsel, please. 
Good morning, Judge. This is Attorney Jeff Perlman on behalf of Ronald Riley, P80517. Riley, can you state your name for the record, please? Ronald A. Riley. How are we proceeding today? Judge, I believe, I don't believe the witness is present. Um, as such, we're asking for dismissal. All right. The time is now 11.22 a.m. No officer being Judge, present. this is an arraignment on my docket. Okay. Thank you. He's already been arraigned on this case. Bitch warrant arraignment. He failed to show up back on. Mm. On 929-22. I think he did show up. I'm I may have not shown up. I know that there was a different attorney on the uh, register of action. Was that the day that you appeared, Mr. Riley, and I didn't appear? Yes, I definitely showed up and you didn't show up and they said that they would, they would reschedule it and they sent me out some normal little cards in the mail. Yeah. All right, so how do you want to proceed today, Attorney Perlman? Well, my client would enter um, a not guilty plea on the, in a way form of reading on the arraignment. Um, the court's going to enter a plea of not guilty on behalf of your client set aside the bench warrant. What would you like to do? Well, if, it's my understanding that there was a, a accompanying civil matter in this case, which has since been resolved. Oh so I know that there's Mr. no Perlman, witness. Here. Mr. Perlman, I just need you to stop talking for a moment because you knew this information. Did you share this with the, with the clerk so they, they can pull it before now? You've been sitting on here all this time. I've been in, was put in a breakout room. I, I haven't, I thought uh, I was going to talk to a prosecutor. But that case has been resolved. We're asking, we're asking that this matter be dismissed. You know, there's no witness has appeared today. A bench trial. Right. Well, if um, set it for a bench trial. Okay. Set it for a bench trial on the date of, sir, Mr. Riley, will you raise your right hand? Yes. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Put your hand down. Did you have a chance to talk to your attorney about your case, sir? Yes, I bought my, I bought the case to my attorney, yes. All right, and it's my understanding you want to have a bench trial. That's a trial before a judge. Won't be me, it'll be somebody else who will talk and uh, listen to the facts of this case and based on that, um, be able to make a ruling. You can also bring to their attention at that next hearing that there was a civil infraction that you already paid that accompanied this ticket. You may have a better outcome. You understand that, Mr. Riley? Yes, ma'am. All right, so I'm going to set it for a bench trial on the date of December 14th, 2022. At 8.30 a.m., December 14, 2022, 8.30 a.m. Does that work for you, Attorney Pearlman? Um, I'm going to actually be uh, in trial that day. Okay. Let's get you another day then because I want you to be present for this. What day works? What's your next closest day, Attorney Pearlman? Um, the... Is the court open the uh, 20th? Or 21st or 22nd of December? Can you do it before the 15th? Can you do it before the 14th? Yes. Okay. Uh, the 
with the ninth, the ninth with the ninth, ninth work. Yep, we'll do it on the ninth instead, okay? Your attorney can't make it on the day that I set, so we're gonna do it on December the ninth instead because I want him to be present, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And just for the record, previously the prosecutor did indicate that if the civil matter was resolved, that they would be dismissing this, but um, obviously the prosecutor has changed. Um, and just if the, if the prosecutor wants to reach out to me prior to the trial date, um, that was my last uh, communication with them. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you on December 9th. Just bring that communication the day of, and then you'll be able to talk. Tell them that you want to talk to the prosecutor that day and let them know, so that way you can resolve it, because I don't know who it will be. Right now, it just says a 12-month delay sentence, so it wasn't even that offer originally, okay? Perfect. Thank you. And then there's another there's another case as well. Um, so I assume both we're asking if both matters be set for uh, bench trial on the ninth. The is it scheduled for today? Okay, that concludes this hearing. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Jessica's iPhone, is your name Jessica Richmond? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now calling the matter of the people versus Jessica Marie Richmond. This is ticket number P1253309, count one, allowing an unlicensed driver to drive. Count two, no insurance misdemeanor. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Bob Zeranek for Miss Richmond. Please state your name, ma'am. Jessica Marie Richmond. Judge, uh, today's the day and time set for trial. My understanding, the officer did not show we're moving for dismissal. The time is now 11.29 a.m. No officer being present. The court is going to grant that request to dismiss this matter without prejudice. You're all set, ma'am, okay? Thank you. Have a great day. You're welcome. You have a good day, too, okay? All right. All right. Carlos Ross, I'm coming back to you, sir. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, there we go. Now calling the matter of the people versus Carlos Ross. This is ticket number P1337239. Count one, drove while license suspended. Count two, no proof of insurance. Count three, expired plates. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Bob Zeranek for Mr. Ross. Please state your name, sir. Carlos Ross. Judge, there's an offer to dismiss uh, counts two and three and a plea to a failure to display. We, he'd like to avail himself of that offer. We'll stipulate the probable causes on the dismissals. All right. So at this time, please raise your right hand, sir. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. All right, you can put your hand down. Sir, did you have a chance to talk to an attorney about your case and about your rights? Yes. Did anyone threaten, force you, or promise you anything in exchange for a plea today? No. Are you pleading guilty of your own choice? Yes. Are you pleading guilty because you are guilty? Yes. Do you understand that by taking this guilty plea today, you're going to give up the rights that you had to have a bench or a jury trial? Yes. Understanding all of this, did you still want to move forward? Yes. All right. I want to take your attention back to the date of April 10th of 2022, were you in the area of Finkel and Southfield driving a Chrysler vehicle? Yes. While you're driving that vehicle, was your license suspended at the time, sir? Yes. Satisfied, counsel? Satisfied, Your Honor. All right. There's already been a uh, stipulation of probable cause on the remaining counts to be dismissed. So the court yes, is Your going Honor. to enter a plea to count one. Um, Amended to fail to display, the remaining two counts will be dismissed. Sir, my fine is $200. How long will that take you to pay? 30 or 60 days? Uh, give me 60 days. All right. It's going to be due no later than January 15, 2022, okay? Okay. All right. Attorney Robinson?
Sarah Robinson. I'm here. All right. Ms. Rucker. All right. Now Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Now calling the matters of the people versus Karen Rucker. This is V ticket one one two one five four one count failure to call for inspection upon compliance. V ticket one one two one five five one count failure to correct code violations in a timely manner for securing a permit for repairs. Appearances for the record, starting with counsel, please. Good morning, Sarah Robinson, P63181 for Ms. Karen Rucker. Ma'am, please state your name. Karen Rucker. And Judge, we're asking for a jury trial. I do, I, ha I have not had the opportunity to speak, to speak with Ms. Horn. I will contact her after the docket by email to discuss uh, where the people stand on this. Okay. It looks like she had this trial couple of times, scheduling order. Okay, all right. I'm new, I'm new on the case, Judge, so. I know, she's had a lot of, I'm just letting you know. So we don't have any bench trial, any jury trial dates at this time, so I'm gonna set it for a pre-trial on December the 14th. And that way, you and uh, Judge Evans can discuss what day this trial will be, okay? All right, thank you. You're welcome, Bonds, continue. There's thank you. Hurt. You're welcome, have a good day, Attorney Robinson. Have a good day, you too. Parker. All right, I will. You as well. I will. Thank you. Yes. No, I never had a bench trial ever. No. All right. You still in here, Mr. Tucker? Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Let's get on. Now calling the matter, recalling the matter of the people versus Sean. Uh, no, that's you. Sorry. Laquita Driver. This is case number Z808086. This matter was already called on the record. This is a probation violation review hearing. At this point in time, appearances once again for the record, starting with probation officer Tucker, please. Shantia Tucker on behalf of probation. All right, cool. And um, counsel. Bob Zaran for the defendant, Your Honor. Ms. Driver, can you state your name for the record? Laquisha Driver. All right, we also have. Um, Yes. Yancey on as well. Officer Yancey, can you state your name for the record, please? Yes, Your Honor. Kenneth Yancey on behalf of Specialty Court, Your Honor. Thank you so Ready much. Judge. All right. How are we proceeding in this matter today? Uh, Your Honor, we're proceeding with the matter of the people versus Sean Driver. Uh, yes. Your Honor, I did have a chance to uh, speak with Ms. Driver. Uh, I did explain our. Bob Zarian, extending in for attorney of record, Melinda Cameron. I did um, ex explain everything to Ms. Driver regarding our program. I obviously did ask her about uh, her screenings, and um, I think there's a discrepancy regarding that, at least in her mind. But we obviously welcome her into our program um, if she's willing to come in, but she... Um, well, she can articulate her issue with the screening better than I can. Go ahead, Ms. Driver. Okay, the problem with the um, those uh, positives is that those are on a cover link machine. It kept on reading positive, and they would send me to get a blood test, and my blood test would be negative. So HPRP never uh, used that against me. So I don't know what you guys have on your end or what they sent you, but it should be that well documented there, what they sent you. Let me ask this. 
When it says non-compliant test, this is for uh, Officer Tucker. When it says non-compliant test, and then under it, I see that they received a positive test, 0 0.011. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that she tested these days? Um, well, the non-compliant means she's either not tested. So while testing with them, she's either missed tests or they were positive. They would confirm it by that blood test. Hold on. I'm letting her talk, Ms. Driver, because I'm looking at the sheet of paper right now. And so, so many of your tests have turned back. I didn't know that I just had alcohol sitting in my system regularly. So now I got to go to the doctor and see if when they put my blood, I just got alcohol sitting in them. Because every single one of these got alcohol sitting in them. Is that sober link or a blood test? I don't know. It shouldn't be none. It shouldn't have any. Zero. The, it, there, there's not any. There's not when that I told when I when they sent me to do the blood test, the blood test shows negative, and I have documentation of that. What's she talking about? That I can't submit. She, that she, so I don't know. Miss Driver, about this since she's been on, I have not received any screens from her. I, I told her she's on for OWEI. She has to test regularly. She, that's the one thing she's not complying on that she does not understand. So um, by this being her second driving alcohol related offense, um, it's- um, Yes, that's serious. You know, um, I don't think she, I think there's a little bit of denial, but I would rather you know, get it wrong and send her to drug court and that they, you know, maybe there's some underlying issues that she can address that the specialty court can help her with, or, you know, if, if in fact that she is testing um, negative or she feels that she can go over there and test negative, she can still complete the program and satisfy um, the conditions I, of probation over there. So um, I think the issue is she don't want to test regularly and she has to for a drinking and drive uh, charge. I, I, I've been testing with HPRP and the, like I said, the machine, it should be well documented. I don't understand what you guys have and don't have. I have documentation of this that I can submit to you. The documents I have say you tested positive. And, and that's coming directly. That's on Every single time it says it, like it's not on this paper that I have in front of me right now. It says, this is coming from HPRP, which you just That's said. Not it says, Vault Health Workforce Screen on 5-17-2022, positive for ethanol. And it says, in your blood, curatin, creatine, but I know sometimes they use that to work out. 10-13. I think I should be an opportunity to... Is that not, no, 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 no. It's no opportunity, especially when I just found out this is your second, not your first. This is your second operating while intoxicated. Did I hear that correctly? Uh, the first case was from the 15th District Court in Ann Arbor, and that was for operating with blood alcohol content. And what date was that one from Ann Arbor? Uh, it was just closed out on October 11th of this year, Your Honor. So what day did she get this one? Did she get it while she was on probation in another county? Yes, Your Honor. No, I was not on probation when I got that. So she don't even have her information correct. Now tell yeah. the truth now. Now tell the okay. truth, did you get two? No, you're not going back and forth with her, Officer Tucker. Did you get two? Is this your second operating while intoxicated? I had two, but they, they all came no, together. I mean, no, 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 no. My question is, is this your second operating while intoxicated? Yes, but I didn't get one while I was on probation. Drug court is your option today. I never was given the opportunity to even go uh, screen at through you guys. That's not fair. Does she want to do this when Judge Evans comes back? Because my, my recommendation is that she participate in a drug court program. So you can wait till the judge of record comes back and you can ask her for something different. But my option is that you're going to be in a drug court program. Okay. Huh? 
at this point in time. I have the documents in front of me that say that you tested and you test positive for alcohol. Uh, that concerns me. That concerns me, especially because this is the second one. So whatever underlying issue may be taking place and happening, we have a fantastic program that can really assist you with that so that you make sure you don't drive again because the next time is a felony. You won't even see any of us. It's a felony. A felony. Okay? And so I, I just... I would rather you not have one, a felony, as opposed to us to try to get you some assistance and help that you need at this point in time. Is it a is it a cost for this program? Mr. Yancey, is there a cost? Um, there'll be some fines and costs. Now she's already paid some fines and costs on this first probation. We're not going to ask her for money. We're not going to ask her for new money if she's already paid some money. There's costs to screen. Um, she wouldn't have to pay that the first month to two months uh, in our program. We would pay for that. Um, other than those two things, um, there's no costs. May I, Your Honor? Yes. I think the defendant, Ms. Driver, I think she's a little uh, confused about that it's within the, it's, it's here at the court. So whether she's screening here at the court or whether she gets transferred to the drug treatment program, she's still going to be screening here with the same fines and costs that she was already assessed. So, um, so, so I don't new. think she, I think she's thinking that she's going to be assessed new things no. and that's why she's reluctant to go um, and be transferred over here. It's just that she would, you know, be on an intensive program through them. Versus through the, she said she was having issues with the um, the health professionals recovery program, but here um, she would probably be testing here or wherever Mr. Yancey refers her to in her whole thing. She didn't want to test through them. Um, okay. So through the health uh, okay. professional recovery program. All right. So, so it's no new costs, no new fines, no new fees. This is a different program. Here at our building. And I think they do some of it online. Is that correct, Mr. Yancey? Uh, that is correct, especially um, treatment. A lot of the treatment will be on Zoom, unless it's obviously, unless it's inpatient, but outpatients usually on Zoom. Um, and she would have to um, come in like she's doing now on Zoom uh, to see our judge. So. All right, how much time do you need to put her in the program? Uh, Your Honor, with the, with the holiday, Your Honor, we will say December 1st, because she has okay. to be, has to have a, uh, a real interview with one of us. Okay. And I assume uh, Officer Tucker has her uh, correct address and phone number. All right. So I'll put, do we, what do we need to put on here? December 1st? Yes. For a review? Yes. All right. I know you may not like me right now, Ms. <clears throat> Driver, but I promise I'm not doing this to be mean, to be spiteful, to be hateful. I don't want you to get in any more trouble. I really don't. And I think this program is a fantastic program. Our drug court and mental health courts teach other ones around the nation how to do it, okay? So I think it can give you the support that you need, the support we wanna give you so that you can be the best you that you can be, okay? That's what I really want. It's not for punishment, okay? This is not a punishment, but I need you to get it because I don't want it to be too late and then we didn't put in all that we could into you and now you looking back at us like, dang. I appreciate I don't, want, I don't want that for you at all. At all. Okay. Okay. So do you need any additional information from this driver today? No, as long as we have her correct address and phone number, we'll contact her, I would say, within um 48 hours regarding getting an interview with her. 
Okay. This driver, I want you to do excellent in the program. I'm the backup judge for that. So I have another young lady that I put from my courtroom into the programs as well. So I'm checking in on that stuff. So you may see me pop in to make sure you're doing all right. It's not all a right. check-in to be like you bad and stuff like that. It's a check-in to let you know that we got your back. And we're serious about that because we want you to be successful. Okay? All right. Thank you. I promise. I promise. It's not punishment. I promise. Okay. All right. All right, ma'am. There's nothing further. We're going to get you in that program, get you all set up. You're going to do phenomenal. And I'm giving you an air hug because I know it's a tough one. But okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. That concludes this hearing. Thank you so much. Your Honor, it's one more the Zoom user who came in late. She came late, so we didn't. I didn't get a chance to, you know, check her in. Check her in. I gotta go. My Giselle Doc is a disaster now, so let me go fill your.